Hello, Armindo with My Co Creations and Roots R Us here to give you a little demonstration about a facial product that I'm going to be releasing soon. So it's in the testing stages. And um, basically, it's a natural uh, recreation of the pore strips that I used to use years ago. Um, basically, if you're not aware of them, the pore strips, um, you just place them on your, your problem areas, um, basically your T-zone, um, and here, where you normally get lots of little blackheads. Um, so basically what the pore strips do are, is that they attach to, uh, portions of the um, dirt, the grime that's below, the, excuse me, that's popping out above the skin but which has already been embedded into the skin and that's what's causing the blemish, the blackhead. Um, so the pore strips attach to the top layer portion and um, basically once it dries you peel it off and once you look at the other side, the side that was applied to your face, you should see little pieces of those particles. So you might see little black specks, um, which would be a blackhead that had been removed from the skin. Or you may also see little, um, little hairs, you know, the little fuzz that's on everybody's face. Um, so it reaches, you know, pretty deep down um, to pull this out, but it doesn't penetrate your skin. So it's very um, un, in, it's not invasive, excuse me, it's not invasive. Um, it does cause your face to be a little red for a few minutes after peeling it off. Um, but it, other than that, it's very easy to use. It's very similar to wearing a clay face mask where it gets tight. Um, so once you apply it, it, um, you know, it's in a liquid form or a gel form. And so it's very malleable and can be moved around pretty easily. But once it dries, it hardens like a starch, um, like clay. And so your skin tightens up. Um, that's also helps to grab, you know, grab onto that dirt and when, when you pull it, that's also the process that's used to um, pull it out. So, again, I just wanted to take a few minutes to show you, um, because I'm very happy with the success rate of, um, of this mix. And it's very easy to make, however... Um, there's a few things that you have to do in order to prior to um, applying this and in a certain way in order to get the best results. So that's what I wanted to share with you. Um, so basically, the best way to get the best results with this product is to wash your face really well first. Now, when you wash your face, you want to wash your face with a uh, warm water and soap some type of soap, even if you don't normally use soap because um, you don't want there to be any oil, anything that would prevent the mix from adhering to your skin um, because as I explained before, that's the process. Um, you know, that is how the, um, that's how the whole thing works <laughs> basically. It's if it can't adhere to the toxins, to the, to the grime, that's been embedded into your pores, then it can't pull it out. So um, washing your face really well, making sure again not to use cold water because cold water closes your pores. So you want your pores to be open. Um, don't apply anything after you wash your face. Uh, immediately after washing, you want to just dab dry. You don't want to rub it because you don't want to irritate it. Um, you just dab it dry or let it air dry and then you can go ahead and proceed to apply the mix as I show you in just a few minutes. Um, but lastly, my, my other uh, tip would be if you have a face steamer or 
if you want to boil a pot of water and after removing it from the heat stand over the bowl or the excuse me the pot or you can pour that into a, that hot water into a bowl um, you can also add a few drops of the essential oils if you like but again don't um, you don't want to put any essential oils that are going to um, close your pores so you might want to just do your research on that but um, the steam helps to open your pores which uh, again is going to make it easier and a lot more effective for the um, product to work so um, that's all the tips that I have yeah, that's all the tips that I have to share with you about what to do prior to applying this. Um, now you can apply the this to your face probably once a week would be okay, but if you're doing it more than once a week, um, I wouldn't recommend that because even though it's not invasive, you're still putting uh, pressure, you're still removing a layer of skin. So. And you are not going to be removing skin, but you do have like dead skin particles, dead skin cells and particles on your face. So that's the layer of skin that I'm referring to. Um, so, okay, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you the next steps. Okay, so in order to do your DIY pore strips, you need just a few things. Um, one is a brush and um, the bigger the brush the easier it's going to be to apply it quickly. Um, you will need some one ply uh, toilet paper just probably about two cube, two uh, squares is all you need. Um, basically you're just going to rip them to different sizes and um, different shapes where you're going to be applying them. So this one I'm going to be using around my nose and um, this little space here is for the bridge of my nose and then I'll have a few other strips that are just rectangular shaped and I will be applying those to my cheeks um, my cheek area or possibly uh, my chin area and finally the pore strip mix which is in this case it's a blend of essential oils that I chose that are specifically good for your skin and xanthan gum and water purified water um, so basically you mix the water with the xanthan gum until you obtain this mixture which is like a gel um, and I've made a pretty big batch uh, I store it in the refrigerator and it will last for a pretty good t long time um, in the refrigerator however since it is contains a lot of water you don't want to leave it out or else it will go bad and start to mold. So um, basically what you do is you see this material, this uh, substance here, this is the pore strip glue. Um, basically you apply this to your face and to the areas that you are going to apply the pore strips and then you paint a layer over the pore strip. So you have a layer of this on your skin, then you apply the strips. Make sure you go ahead and, and um, pre-rip them so that they're ready to go when you uh, are applying it because it does uh, take a little while to dry however uh, you don't want to be stopping to get your different strips ready while you're during the, doing the process of applying them um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do what I just said and then I will be right back uh, I will be applying this mixture to my nose, to the side of my nose, of each side of my nose, as well as my cheeks. And that's where I have um, some little embedded blackheads. They're tiny, 
they're not really big, but, um, you know, the longer you leave them there, the, the bigger they get. So, um, that's the purpose of creating this, is so that I can remove them before they get to a point where they're making a, a blemish on my face. And something else that I forgot to mention in the previous, um, the, the previous, uh, video was that you may also want to, in addition to or instead of doing the steam to open up your pores, when you're pre-washing your face, you may want to use a loofah to um, go ahead and exfoliate it gently. Um, you can also use baking soda to do a gentle exfoli exfoliation. Um, I really like the way baking soda works because it gets deep deeper into the to the pores because the particles are so fine. So, okay, like I said, um, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this and then I will be back with my strips applied. Okay, so this is the one that I made for my nose, um, the bridge of my nose, and it doesn't matter if you have a little bit extra um, that's, you know, just on your skin, it's not on the actual strip or toilet paper. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you um, how I apply the, the last one. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it to my chin. I go ahead and put a layer of the pore strip blend onto my chin and then I take one of the uh, pieces of toilet paper and I go ahead and put that on and then I get some more of the pore strip glue and apply it over top. Kind of just paint it down. And then that's it. Um, you let it dry, and it dries for about 15-20 mm, minutes, depending on how much uh, of the the glue that you put on there. Um, and so I'll be back after the 15 minutes or 15 to 20 minutes after it's dried and hardened. And basically, when the toilet paper is hardened, it starts to feel like clay, a clay mask would, that's when um, you can go ahead and remove it. So you see how there's some like extra little pieces that don't feel, they don't feel like they're in a good place. Um, don't, you know, you don't want to put it too close to your eye, to your under eyes, uh, or excuse me, under your eyes because once you go to pull it, it's going to pull your skin a little bit. So you want to be careful of that. Okay, we'll be back in just a few. Okay, I'm back. It's been about uh, 20 minutes, 20 minutes or so. Um, so as you can see, it looks like there's plastic on my face. <laughs> um, it's very tight. It's hard to, obviously, as you can probably see, it's hard for my um, mouth to move naturally. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start peeling it off. So you just kind of find a little spot and you just peel it. Peel it off. And um, it's very hard for you. I'm sure it's hard for you to see, but um, there are little blackheads and um, little pieces of skin. It sounds gross, I know, but that's what pore strips do. So, um, little pieces of, let's see if I can get you, um, guess you're just going to have to try it. <laughs> You can't see but there are a few blackheads that it pulled out um, so if you've ever tried the 
Bior, I believe that's the name of it. It's been many years since I've used it. Um, but if you've ever tried those strips, this is the next best thing, and it's natural. There's no chemicals. It's all beneficial. And um, I will be carrying... I will have a package uh, for those that are unable to get the ingredients or uh, have, are having a hard time um, getting the right consistency because it does take a, you know, it takes the right consistency in order to get it to work right. If it's too thick, then it won't um, apply to the toilet paper properly. And actually what it'll do is it'll start ripping the toilet paper as you try to apply it. And if it's too runny, then it's not going to stick. Um, so go ahead and t test it out if you have some at home um, or if you're able to get some. And if you're not, then go ahead and um, go to mycocreations.com and go to our shop or you can go directly to shop dot mycocreations.com and you can check out uh, the listing that we have for our strips or uh, what you'll receive is, is you will receive the um, pre-made glue in a container that you would just keep in the refrigerator so you um, will st still have to provide your own brush and your own toilet paper. Um, so go ahead and give it a try and let me know how it works for you if you have access to it and if you don't go ahead and place your order so you can give it a try and let me know. I'd be very interested to get feedback from others that try this and um, let me know if you have a, a good camera that can get all the little uh, bits <laughs> that would be great to see um, just because you want people to see that it actually works. Um, but obviously the only way you know for sure is to try it yourself. And so that's my motto. Um, no matter if I see somebody doing it and I actually see the results, I still want to try it myself to make sure. Um, that way I know 100% beyond a shadow of a doubt that it works. So I hope you found this to be uh, informational po share uh, vlog. And I hope that you give it a try and you see how much money and time um, that you save by not having to go to the store and constantly and purchase this. And the, um, the package that you'll receive, the amount of the pore strip glue lasts, will last for so long. Like the amount, the, the amount that I, um, showed you guys earlier I've already used it a number of times probably about 10 times and it didn't even really put a dent in there so it will last forever just like most of my co-creations products we give you a hundred percent ingredient no fillers so that you can get the most for your money and have the best product that can um, you know provide you with the results that you need and now that I've finished removing all the rest of the goo off my face by simply just washing it with a little bit of soap and water, I'm all done. And I'm very happy with the results. So I hope that you all take the time to try this out. Uh, again, if you need access to the goo, if you're unable to find the ingredients to make it, simply seek me out on all the social networks you'll find me on by simply searching my co-creations or roots are us and thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video I hope it was beneficial I hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions comments or feedback please comment below or reach out to me on one of the social networks and I would be happy to respond to you thank you so much if you found this to be informational inspirational, fun, unique, or all of the above, please share. Have a great day. Bye-bye.